Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Welcome back, wildlings. Tonight we have another ancient anecdote in internet years. For those of us with a taste for revenge. Tonight's creepy classic, Twist Ending. There was once a very famous author named David, who had written quite a few best-selling horror novels. All of the literary critics praised his talent for plot twists and surprise endings. He received a large amount of fan mail every day, and some budding authors even sent him manuscripts in the hope that he would help them get their work published. While David took pleasure in responding to letters from his fans, he took even more pleasure in stealing the ideas of amateur writers. If he came across a manuscript with a great idea for a scary story, well, he would use it in one of his own books and deny the author any credit. Then, in order to hide his theft, he pulled some strings with his friends in the publishing industry to make sure that the original author never got anything published in the future. One day, David received a new manuscript in the mail. It was bound in a beautiful hardcover book. He read the first chapter and felt that he knew how the story would end. As he continued reading, he became more and more certain that he could guess the twist ending. It was growing late, but he wanted to finish reading the manuscript to see whether or not he was right. When David came to the final chapter, he realized that the last few pages of the book were stuck together. Anxious to read further, he pulled the pages apart. He felt increasingly tired, but still, he kept reading. Finally, he came to the end of the book. It was exactly the twist ending that he had anticipated. The husband hanged himself just as the wife was committing suicide in the next room. David made a mental note to steal the idea and use it in his next story. Just then, he noticed that after the words, the end, there was a little handwritten comment from the author. It read, I already know that you're planning to steal the ideas in this story. I know because you did the exact same thing to me the last time I sent you a manuscript. You published it under your own name, and you didn't give me any credit. You ripped me off and blacklisted me in the industry. Nobody will accept my novels anymore, and I will never again be able to publish anything I write. You've ruined my life now, ruined my career, and now I am going to have my revenge. You had to pull apart the back pages in order to read this, didn't you? Well, those pages contained a poison. Arsenic, to be precise. Are you feeling tired? That's normal. It's one of the symptoms of arsenic poisoning. Soon, your heartbeat will get slower and slower until it eventually stops permanently. Don't bother trying to call an ambulance. You'll be dead before they arrive. You've already been exposed for too long. Goodbye, David. Some twist endings can be very hard to predict. <laughs> huh. Now, I've always liked that story. But reading it, I find myself somewhat disturbed by it all the same. After all, the largest part of this channel's output is, well, reading the works of authors that I'll never meet. Hmm. I have to think about that. Stay scary, my wildlings. Try not to inspire anyone to vengeful rage, and make the most of your nights.